first thing I'd like to point out is uh, just a little bit of a background that Iran and uh, Afghanistan's relations, uh, despite the fact that historically and culturally they are uh, close countries, they've been a little complicated, especially after the Islamic Revolution. As you know, the 1979 revolution coincided with the uh, Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. And this was a difficult time for Iran. It was a difficult time for Afghanistan as well as for, as well as for us. And that's when our relations also uh, went through a certain turmoil with Iran and uh, the same with Afghanistan. Iran is, uh, you must look at Iran as an important regional player. It is in many ways a hegemonistic player. I say that because Iran also wants to wield its influence in this region. And in that way, it is a rival of, of Saudi Arabia and the United States because it has, uh, especially after the Islamic revolution, they wanted to sort of, uh, propagate their, their version of Islam, the Shia uh, Islam that they were, uh, that they practice. Um, it didn't work so much in Afghanistan because after the Taliban takeover, especially, especially, and you had the Saudi backing and the Taliban Wahhabi element, it really put Iran on, on a different uh, tangent with them. And that's why you had the Iranians actually supporting the Northern Alliance and during that conflict period. But now what has happened is that uh, as Iran's uh, security interests grow and grow in the sense that, uh, you know, Iran has been under sanctions for uh, since most of, uh, most of the time that it's uh, since 1979, but more so now uh, after uh, the Trump administration introduced uh, sanctions, uh, more hard hitting sanctions, and it's got a nuclear program as well. So Iran has, uh, taken on a more pragmatic view on how to uh, deal with Afghanistan. Uh, the presence of the Taliban, which used, to, uh, which used to be a problem for it and which was discomforting for Iran, has uh, uh, changed over the years because now Iran is also talking to the Taliban. Taliban spokesperson Suhail Shaheen says a delegation led by senior leader Abdul Salam Hanafi has met senior foreign ministry officials. Shaheen says the Afghan peace process and the security of Iranian projects in Afghanistan were discussed at the meeting. And this has happened especially after uh, the, um, the realization that Taliban are going to play a very important role in whichever form of government Afghanistan ends up with after the US withdrawal and after. Secondly, um, the presence of Daesh and ISIS in, Iran, in Afghanistan has uh, troubled Iran because again, that is, uh, these are groups that have been uh, causing problems for Iran in Iraq and Syria as well. And Iran would like to have a quieter uh, border towards its north uh, east. Uh, with the U.S. pulling out, the Iranians are, of course, skeptical. They don't know what form this pullout will be. Will it mean that the, of course, it will mean that U.S. presence will still remain in Afghanistan to a certain extent. But what kind of influence the U.S. will still continue to um, have in Afghanistan, this is something that is, would be of interest to Iran because, again, they are old enemies of the United States and they would not, they have always been uncomfortable with the U.S. presence in Afghanistan. Uh, with the U.S. presence, of course, comes the role of Saudi Arabia, which is another uh, rival country for, uh, for Iran. So therefore, Iran has been reaching out to the Afghan government in the past few years to sort of mend fences, to go grow closer. And Iran doesn't have much to offer, uh, by the way, because of its own economic situation. Of course, it does have oil. It has energy reserves. But uh, it's under sanctions. So um, while it doesn't have much to offer Afghanistan, it does offer uh, play host to a, over a million refugees. Uh, the presence of these refugees is also a, a security threat for Iran, and it is also an economic and political uh, problem. 
economic because uh, Iran being a country under sanctions, uh, having to play host to a large number of refugees, it is not able to carry this burden. So this is a, this is a load on Iran, which they would like to, um, which they would like to get rid of. In fact, they would want these refugees to go back and they know that the only way that they can go back to Afghanistan is if there is peace and stability there. And now that we have a new government there, new president there, I think that uh, he will play a more proactive role in ensuring that there is uh, these refugees uh, find a way of going back to Afghanistan. But I think the, in the, the crux of my answer would be that yes, Iran will continue to play a very important role in Afghanistan. Iran wants to play uh, a role uh, in the peace process, in the Afghan peace process, so that it does not go back to the uh, Taliban situation where it had to take sides. So uh, the Iranians have been reaching out to not only the Afghan government, but also the Taliban, and they're hopeful that there would be some kind of stability in Afghanistan. What is worrying for Iran, what would be the security concern is what would be uh, the US role in all this. Also, um, Iran is very interested in uh, having closer ties with Russia and with China. And both these regional players, Russia and China, have an important role in Afghanistan. So for Iran, I think uh, this, is, uh, this complicated relationship with Afghanistan will probably continue for a while until they're able to actually secure their own borders and to, and to feel that the Afghan peace process internally will bring about some, some form of stability uh, that would offset the threat of uh, Daesh and ISIS, as well as uh, create an environment in which the refugees can go back.